Okay, so today we're going to take a look at programming and the setup of a Unilite system. I actually have Unilite plus uh, some some Sky Candy lights on this aircraft. The Sky Candy are on the main gear, and the uh, the Unilites are pretty much everywhere else. So, um, just wanted to take a minute to look at the install here. So we've got an eight channel. I've got it hooked up to the programmer. The programmer is going to uh, give us an idea of how the system is set up. I'll link a video of the aircraft flying in, uh, in the description. I actually don't have that uh, exact scheme right now. I've changed it a little bit, but uh, you'll be able to get the uh, general idea. Okay, so I'm using a PowerBox Core. Uh, that's not important. The important part is just to uh, use whatever manner you need to get the, we'll call it servo throw. Um, it's not really servo throw, obviously, but the, the amount of throw in that particular function that you need to get the programming where you want it to be. So first thing we're going to do is fire up the uh, light desk. I'm going to turn on the aircraft. And we will plug in the airplane. Notice connection here. Blink just to let us know that it's there. Economy 8 plus full settings. And we go into the select interface COM7 and we connect. Now you see the connect button on the Unilite controller cord is solid so we are connected kind of toss that out of the way so I did something a little bit different you'll notice on the airplane that that tail light every fourth cycle will blink the reason I did that is my friend Chris suggested well your turbine might be cooling down um, you're letting that go through the cycles you walk away you get to, you know, you just had a great flight, talking to your buddies, whatever's going on, you leave your airplane on. Uh, I or someone's gonna notice this every four cycles, blinking away here, saying, hey, your airplane's still on, your lights aren't on, this is my, quote, off position, but uh, for me, but the lights actually um, aren't on, the full light system isn't on, but you can see that the, uh, that there is that one system that's on. So if I turn my lights on, then you'll notice there is another rear blinking light back there. And we have a belly light that goes as a nice even strobe. Now, I also have gear lights set up you know, I have wingtip lights, but uh, this Rebel Max is a little large for my basement to put together just for demonstration purposes. But you'll be able to see what they're doing. So we go to the light schemes. We can see here, current scheme is one, which is all off, which is what the light pattern says. The light scheme current here is actually not matching that. that this is what's using the transmitter to to change these schemes because the gear is up and it thinks the lights are on so basically we need to we go to lights off that's here that's scheme two and what we can see is when I have my transmitter say lights off, lights off. Lights off that really isn't a, an all-off position. That would actually be scheme one. So what I did was, in scheme two, 
I had my channel six, which is the blinking light up on the fin, go every fourth cycle. So it just blinks four times because I thought that'd be hard to miss all four. Uh, so you basically just have this in here. You take where you want the light scheme to be only however many times you would like it to go. You go into the soft transition and this is where you have channel five go only those uh, few times. Channel five for me is that top fin. So, lights off. Scheme two, lights off. So for me, the rest of these are pretty straightforward. You have gear up, channel one, and my wingtip lights. Uh, they blink uh, in this pattern, which again, you can set anything that you would like here in the eight channel. These are the double wingtip lights. This is like the, the, um, red or green and then I've got the strobe alternating with that some people like the red or the green on all the time you just set every single one of these to be uh, to be on uh, put the blocks in the red and uh, it'll be set up for you like that um, channel 8 is my nose gear uh, so that it basically is really the only difference between light scheme 4 and 3 would be that the gear comes down. When the gear comes down, that light is on all the time. If you don't want that light on all the time, you could actually have it come on slowly, uh, kind of like a light bulb coming on with certain effects. You could have it uh, come on, uh, you could have it blink. Um, I don't know why you would want to do that, but certainly you can. The, 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 uh, Really, the possibilities are, are endless here. So, um, you know, you can have, these are my tail lights. So I've got channel six and seven. You can see that they alternate. Um, I could have them go at the same time. I could have them go anything you want. It's just three blinks uh, in this alternating pattern here. Channel five is the beacon underneath. I've got that set to beacon. I've also got it set so it comes on slowly and it doesn't go every single time the other ones go. When I noticed in a flight video, uh, the beacon looked like it for a big airplane, it was just flashing a little bit too quick. So basically whenever you get done with setting up your, your schemes, however you want them, uh, you just hit save and when you're done. And at that point you're all finished. Uh, so again, if you don't want to have uh, the kind of the off switch that I've got where you've got the four blinks when it happens and you know just to remind yourself that the transmitter may have been left on uh, basically you would just have three schemes and your all off would be here I use a logical switch in my radio to get the uh, to get the all off uh, section I could actually use a second switch if I wanted to and go all the way over to here and have nothing on, um, but uh, for me that defeated the purpose of uh, what I was trying to accomplish with getting uh, some type of message out that, hey, you've left your your plane on and uh, you might want to take that off. So anyway, I'll, I'll uh, link that flight video. Uh, again, the schemes aren't exact, but uh, you'll get the idea. I've monkeyed with them a little bit since watching it fly. The wingtip lights weren't exactly what I wanted, etc. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, link them down below, make a comment. If you like it, let me know. Uh, I can uh, keep making videos like this. Thanks.